One of the most well-known Mexican regional groups to appear in recent years is Fuerza Regida, and the words that are most commonly used to describe them are Cali vibes, flyer parties, trap music, and Mexican-American. But do you know what is special about this band and how they reach where they are today? In today's video, we're going to reveal all that you need to know about the rise of Fuerza Regida musicians. So relax and stay tuned to the end. We talk a lot about organized crime on this channel. And the problem with organized crime is, well, it's organized. So, you know, hackers and third parties can access your personal data, and they're probably seeing and even selling it right now. You heard me right. Someone is going through all your personal data without you even knowing it. Sending data over an unencrypted internet connection is like sending a postcard. Different people, like the internet service providers or the hackers, have access to it, and they prey on you. To secure the connection between my device and the internet, I've downloaded ExpressVPN. And for those who don't know, VPN secures your connection, so basically no one can sneak a peek at your private correspondence. And an ExpressVPN is the best VPN option you got. I use ExpressVPN to binge watch my favorite Netflix shows that aren't available in the US. Helps me reroute my connection to different countries. Not only that, but it's easy to use, it's also fast and top-rated with 24-7 customer support. It also encrypts my data in a way that even a supercomputer can't hack in a billion years. You can also make your network secure by going to expressvpn.com slash worth the hype. You can find the link in the description below. Just go on now and find out how to get a free three-month subscription by clicking the link. Fuerza Rajida is a media-savvy, chart-topping Mexican regional group. Alongside the Rancho Humilde label mates Legado 7, they're considered to be the pioneers of Requinto Urbano type of music. This is acoustic music performed more rurally, yet the words are raw and urban. Since the early 19th century, their narrative folk ballad technique, which features acoustic guitars, lead and harmony vocals, and brass, has played an iconic position in the Mexican cultural canon. The name Fuerza Rajida which means both strength and to govern, was formally given to the band in March of 2015. Before that, they were a local cover band that infused their music with an East Los Angeles vibe. They were the pioneers of the musical style known as the Urban Corridor in the United States, and more specifically, in the state of California. This style incorporates an East Los Angeles flavor into the regional Mexican music that they play. The narrative song and poetry that come together to produce a ballad are the hallmarks of the genre of music. The songs are frequently about depression, history, and daily life for peasants. And other socially relevant topics are, are very popular in Mexico today. However, Fuerza Rajida's topics focus on the hardships, the bawdy joys, and the sufferings of the city streets. The majority of the people that are known to listen to this music are Mexicans. They make lovely melodies, but they also give raps atop groovy dance rhythms backed by spiky requinto guitar vamps. Fuerza Rajida is fronted by the charismatic and outspoken Jesus Ortiz Paz, aka Jop. The requinto is a type of acoustic guitar that is tuned higher. It is frequently a lead 12-string instrument, as it is in this band's music and a rhythm-playing six-string instrument supports it. They currently live in California, but they're originally from the state of Sinaloa. Not only does the band have a distinctive sound, but also their strategy for cultivating a public persona is one of a kind. Long before they started playing together, the members of Fuerza Rajida had already created a complex social media strategy that was centered around YouTube. The band was initially composed of vocalist Jesus Ortiz Paz, lead guitarist and second vocalist Samuel Jaimes, rhythm guitarist and harmony singer Christian Ramos, and a tuba player who goes by the name Jose. The band was established in 2017. When Ortiz tells incredible stories about urban life, his evocative baritone manages to be both proclamatory and tender at the same time. It's funny that it was at a barbershop in San Bernardino, Christian Ramos, Semi Jaimes and Jesus Ortiz were introduced to one another in the year 2015. Jesus Ortiz was initially brought on board to play the bass. But when the band's first lead singer decided to leave, he took over the vocals for the band. Not too much longer after that, Jose Garcia joined the band and added that tuba to the lineup. After that, the rest is history. 
They credit a significant portion of their early success to the hard work and dedication that they put in. They traveled around the Colton, Riverside, and San Bernardino areas, selling out CDs of the trunk of their cars. They also frequently performed in a circuit of backyard flyer parties, which assisted in the expansion of their popularity in a region that is not given as much attention as the Los Angeles metro area for bands that have become successful. Over 100,000 people had listened to the songs that Fuerza Regida uploaded on their YouTube page before their debut album was even ever released. This allowed the band to get their music heard by a wider audience. Almost immediately, the band started uploading videos to their YouTube channel. Even before they had a record out, the videos had racked up millions of views. They had obtained a contract with Rancho Humilde, a label that was at the vanguard of Requinto Urbano Sound. By the time the year came to a close, their first studio album, and Vivo Puros Corridos, was released in January of 2018. It was quickly followed by a flood of video singles, such as Radicamos and South Central, and Ya Se Fue Manuel, which amassed a combined total of 100 million views. The lively, rebellious stage attitude, exquisite musicianship, and youthful good looks of Fuerza Regida earned the quartet a huge exposure on radio, television, Instagram, as well as Twitter during their tour of Southern California and Northern Mexico. In November of that same year, their music video for the song Sigo Chambiando, which also included members of the band Legado 7, gained more than 100 million views on its own. The song Radicamos on South Central was the one song that gave Fuerza Regida their first major break in the music industry. The words of the song make a passing reference to dealing drugs, but at the same time, they romanticize the drudgery of having to get up every morning to go to work to support one's family. The video for the song had more than 1 million views in just a few short months after it was first posted online. The hit song by Fuerza Regida had strong ties to the traditional Mexican music because it used the traditional corrido style and uh, street-grown lyrics. As a result, the song was able to resonate with the band's audience and went on to become the number one cover song for thousands of other corrido bands that perform around Los Angeles. Soon after Radicamos and South Central achieved recognition with their music, Ramon Ruiz, a co-founder of Lumbre Music, contacted the band and extended an invitation to join his record company. Ruiz is also a member of Legado 7, which is another corridos group situated in Southern California. Additionally, Ruiz's second company is linked with Rancho Jimilde, a renowned record label with a reputation for discovering the next best up-and-coming musical genre. Along with Legado 7 and a few other corrido bands like El de la Guitarra and Arsenal Efectivo, Fuerza Tejida became a part of the national tour for the album Smoke Me Out. According to frontman Jesus Ortiz, who spoke to the Billboard about the band's beginnings, in the beginning, we performed at many flyer parties, and people would stop what they were doing to pay attention to our set. After nearly two years, we started noticing that we had fans outside of our city and that our music began sounding in Los Angeles. We got really, really happy. Ortiz remembers the first moment Fuerza Regida became popular on the internet. What really got us out there was a song that I wrote called Radicamos in South Centro. It really opened the doors for us, he says. Thanks to that song, Ramon Ruiz from Legado 7 discovered us when we got signed onto two labels his Lumbre Music and Rancho Humilde. The band Fuerza Regida, whose musical influences include Adriel Camacho, Hijos de Barron, and Metallica, writes gritty songs about various subjects, including Mexican culture, love, and the street life of the country. The most notable examples of this can be found in songs like Sigo Chambiando and Malos Pasos. Billboard quotes guitarist Cristian Ramos as saying, we sing both regional Mexican and urban music, but we don't want people to think that we play a specific type of genre. We want people to know that Fuerza Regida is capable of much more. As 2019 began, Fuerza Regida maintained a consistent release schedule for their streaming singles and videos. They released a six-track EP titled Las Románticas Favoritas in the springtime, and it consisted of love songs. The band Rancho Jimilde released their second long player, Del Barrio Hasta Aquí in July. It made its debut at number one on the regional Mexican albums chart of Billboard, and it reached its highest position at number eight on the list of top Latin albums. The Quintet released their third studio album, titled Adicto, in the spring of 2020. 
The album featured guest appearances from Grupo Codiciado, Natania Alcano, and Jarencia de Patrones. The album made its debut on the top Latin albums chart at position number four, where it also debuted at number one on the regional Mexican albums chart. They continue to upload songs in their YouTube channel, and they produce music that is at the top of the charts in regional Mexican albums, and it's also reached the number four spot on top Latin albums. But is Fuerza Rajida strong financially? What could their net worth be as a band? Fuerza Rajida benefits from a diversified revenue base, which ensures that the band's continued financial stability is there, and it enables it to continue its efforts to produce new music. They generate over $1 million in revenue before taxes, thanks to the traffic they receive from YouTube, where their videos have received more than 378 million views. This does not take into account any additional earnings that may have been received from a sponsored commercial to their videos. They also get royalties from their songs when they're played on other media platforms like Pandora and Spotify, in addition to the royalties that they receive from YouTube. They also make money from affiliate sales and sponsorships and the selling of items. However, the amount of money that they make from these sources is unknown at the moment. To top it all, there's also another amount of money that they make from their shows. Currently, they dominate the competition because the gigs are completely sold out across the United States and Mexico. And their ticket prices range from $70 to $318. They, together with their accountants, are the only people who are aware of the precise amount of money that can be attributed to the shows. As a result, Fuerza Rajida is uh, believed to own a net worth of $1.5 million. You can see that this is not a small band at all. Fuerza Rajida is quite popular and is well known on social media sites like SoundCloud and YouTube. It has 931,000 Instagram followers, as well as 642,000 Facebook fans and 371,000 YouTube subscribers, as well as 20.6 thousand SoundCloud followers. Rancho Humilde, Lombre Music are just a few of the record labels that it's worked with. Fuerza Rajida has been recognized with numerous prizes and nominations. The group was scheduled to receive the Premio Juventud for New Regional Mexican Generation Honor in 2019. It received nominations for the Billboard Latin Music Award for Regional Mexican Album of the Year and the iHeartRadio Music Award for Best New Regional Mexican Artist the following year. In 2020, as well as 2021, the pop group received two nominations for the Lo Nuestro Award for Sierra Song of the Year. You can imagine how big they are. This concludes our video for today. Thanks for sticking with us. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell to keep up with more awesome videos like this. I'll stay, yeah, or you should stay tuned for the next video. Almost said the wrong thing. Later.